What is good YouTube? Today we will be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 like six, seven months later. I've been using this bad boy since release day. You guys know I'm your smartwatch guru for all of your smartwatch needs. If you need to know what smartwatch, when the latest smartwatch come out, if I should get it or not, you need to check right here. So smash that subscribe button, hang around. Okay, so the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3, let's talk about it. Let's get into it. First thing you notice about this smartwatch in comparison to the other popular smartwatches is its design. This thing looks like a traditional smartwatch round face stainless steel body you can add customizable stainless steel bands we'll talk about that a little bit later it doesn't feel far from what we're used to seeing when you look at the wrist of someone who's wearing a watch this is also built with high premium quality construction this body is durable and built to last like for real for real this thing is tough you know what i mean you give it a little nick and beat and i don't say you do it on purpose so for those of you who may have a more demanding workload and so forth or your day-to-day -day might be a little bit rougher you might be looking at a samsung galaxy watch 3 in comparison to some of the competition out there rightfully so what makes the samsung galaxy 3 design stick out amongst others besides the look of it being traditional well, there's a couple things. This bezel design right here is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so the turning bezel on this smartwatch is everything. It's also familiar and traditional, but it's also extremely functional for navigating this smartwatch. I absolutely love that feature. That's how I love getting through. Look how fast I can go from one thing to the next, all with the turn of a bezel. Now, when you look within this bezel, you see this 1.4 inch AMOLED display. We all know, if you don't know, I'm gonna tell you now, Samsung makes the best displays in the smartphone and smartwatch industry. So if I'm gonna be using a smartwatch, I want the display to come from Samsung because the crispness, the clearness, the AMOLED beauty, those super deep blacks, the detail, the brightness, it's all there built into the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. So needless to say, I've been enjoying this here design on the Samsung Galaxy Watch. Three. Now, another new thing in the design from previous models that we're getting with the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 is they did a weight reduction and a slimness reduction. So it got a little bit slimmer and a little bit lighter, which when you're in this category of these more bulkier filling watches, any type of weight reduction and size reduction, it's welcome. I appreciate it, even though still, this is on the bigger side of watches right here on my wrist right now. This is the 45 millimeter. There's also a 41 millimeter available. If you guys haven't seen, I made a video comparing the two sizes and trying to help you make a decision of which watch size would fit your wrist better. I have a six inch circumference on my wrist and uh, I had both models put them on my wrist and everything. The 41 millimeter technically looked better size proportion wise, but also so did the 45 millimeter. Like it's a preference of taste. Check out that video and you guys can make a decision for yourself. I went with the 45 millimeter and I'm gonna tell you guys exactly why later on in this video. So the great thing about a Galaxy Watch 3 for me, design wise, when I'm getting, you know, the drip together and the swag, this matches it a lot more than say the popular Apple Watch because that thing is in a rectangle. As soon as you see an Apple Watch, it just screams, smartwatch but i mean that's a part of the marketing of it but this watch kind of fits in it blends in and say when i go to make a samsung pay payment and i hit them with this watch they're looking like wait a minute you just pay with that watch what watch is that that adds to the cool factor and just the sleekness and just how much the galaxy watch fits in into a traditional everyday you know you know what i'm trying to say basically so that's one thing i absolutely love and over these last six seven months this thing has held up extremely well this thing is built like a tank Stainless steel body, Gorilla Glass on the front. I added my stainless steel band. But as you can see over this time, I don't even think I have any war wounds. I thought I remember banging it one time. Um, but yeah, I don't see anything. That goes to show for longevity and for those of you who may have a workload that's a little more physical and rough, uh, the Galaxy Watch 3 is an ideal smartwatch for you than the other, say, fragile options on the market. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna talk about is battery. Battery life stands out on the Galaxy Watch 3, period, in comparison to, you know, the said popular smartwatch out there. You're guaranteed two days and two days plus, depending on how you use this device. Now, the 45 millimeter is packing the 340 milliamp hour battery, while the 41 millimeter is packing the 274 milliamp hour battery, I believe. 247 milliamp hours, excuse me. So when it comes to battery life and being able to use this thing and actually sleep in your device without having to charge it before going on into your next day and things like that, the Galaxy Watch 3 definitely gives you more versatile use in that situation. It just gives 
gives you a longer time before you have to actually hook your watch up to charge. Now, speaking of charging, when you have to charge this thing, that's my only gripe. Love the battery, love the size, love the longevity, but when it comes to charging this thing, it's on the slow side, let's just say. Nevertheless, charge this thing, get it to full capacity, and you're good to go for a couple days plus. Love it. Now, let's talk about the straps. This takes any 22 millimeter pin smartwatch strap for the most part. You guys can get out there, shop on Amazon. I'll link this one that I'm using right here and a couple of others. It originally comes with a leather strap, which I think it has like a rubberized bottom on it, which is cool and it's nice, you know, it's, it's decent, but adding this stainless steel band just adds to the overall likeness of this smartwatch and traditional feel and so forth. Now, adding a stainless steel band that's added more weight, you know, but that's what traditional watch wearers are used to already. So this isn't the lightest watch or the faint of heart and so forth, but you can get more comfortable straps. That's the beauty of having, you know, removable straps. And if you get any 22 millimeter for this one, and then I think it's 20 millimeter if you get the 41 millimeter version. So you guys can swap out straps, have fun, which just adds to the overall customization. Now, speaking of customization, there's something else you guys can do, and that's watch faces. You guys can get so many great dope watch faces on this watch. Matter of fact, I'll show you a couple of them. I haven't put a ton of them on here just yet, but I can tell you there's so many out there. So if you're looking to customize your Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 like I have mine here, I've made a video showing you guys step by step how to get super dope watch faces, a bunch of different ones uh, from Rolex, Breitling, and whatever other brands are out there. There's a ton of them, a lot of people create them for this because they just wanna have dope watch faces. So I still gotta add more onto here, but it's so simple. It's an app that you get, it's Watchmaker. So it's inside this Watchmaker app, as you can see, I have a handful of uh, watch faces that you guys can get and download. There's so many more. I used to have a ton of them on here. Uh, let me add this one on here. And it's as simple as this. I just tap right there and now it's sending to my smartwatch. Gotta love it. And once it's on the watch, it's on the watch and you never have to wait again. This is just the sending process from the phone to the watch, but it's well worth it. Um, so check out that video of me showing you guys how to get these here said watch faces. So go check it out. Check out that video, you guys. All right, so there's another thing that people get smart watches for and that's fitness. Now, when it comes to fitness on the Samsung Galaxy Watch, although I'm not a super fitness person with a smart watch, or let's just say this wouldn't be my choice of the smart watch that I wanna wear when I'm working out. There are a lot of reports of the Galaxy Watch 3 when it comes to fitness being hit or miss. You know, sometimes it not getting its GPS and, and tracking properly or the heart rate uh, sensor and so forth. So you have to test it out for yourself and see how the measurements and results uh, work for you. Um, now, one thing that is really dope that you hear people speak about is the run tracking analytics and data that it gives you from when you're doing your running. So it is great in that department. I don't, I don't exercise all the time. I do do it sometimes, you know what I mean? But I'm not always having a smartwatch on when I go to work out and hit the little weights that I got downstairs. You know? But there is another area that comes in fitness that comes extremely well with the Galaxy Watch 3 and previous models, and that's sleep tracking. Now, Samsung sleep tracking, I absolutely love it and adore it. Now, like I said earlier, these type of watches, for me personally, it's not the ideal watch to sleep in, but I do take naps sometimes if I'm exhausted. It's like once in a blue moon, I may have, you know, overworked myself and I might, you know, knock out while, you know, you now you got your clothes on and you knock out with everything on, but it's really good. It shows you how much like deep sleep you got, restless sleep and all that stuff. It breaks down the amount of time you were asleep and how that sleep cycle was. All right, so I spoke briefly about the bezel and how it works really great with Tizen OS. Tizen OS is the operating system that's running on these Samsung Galaxy Watch 3s and I appreciate it. But there is a caveat to it. There's not a lot of third party app support for it. If you guys know, and let's just be quite honest and frank, uh, when it comes into the smartwatch realm, there's going to be more apps on, say, a said Android Wear OS device, which is uh, it breaks my heart to say because not many of those devices are good, in my honest opinion. This is the best smartwatch you can get on Android. And then there's also like the Apple Watch, which just has a ton of apps being created by third party manufacturers. There is a rumor, though, that the Samsung Galaxy Watch is considering moving to the Wear OS platform. And to be honest, 
in my gut, I don't feel 100% super dope about that, but this is just a sad rumor. Wear OS, at least back when I used to use it, that was a while, this has been a long time since I've used a Wear OS device. It was, it was good. It wasn't like the greatest. It's like when I got Tizen, I, I like Tizen better. So we'll see where that lands in the future with the Galaxy watches. But as far as right now, Tizen is on here and it's phenomenal, super fast, super snappy. Like I said, it's just not a lot of third party app support. But when it comes to smartwatches, how many third party apps do you really need when it comes to smartwatches? I'm not sure. I just need the basic functions of having connectivity to my smartphone without having to pull out my smartphone, the conveniences, answering the phone, replying to messages and so forth. At my wrist. Those are the convenience that I appreciate along with the added like sleep tracking and things like that. But uh, outside of that, you know, I don't know what other crazy things I want to do on this small display other than have the convenience of me not needing to reach to my smartphone every single time. So there's a lot of positives when it comes to the Galaxy Watch 3. It's slightly thinner, a little bit lighter, the beautiful bezel and design, the display is beautiful, the battery life, and so forth. There's a couple caveats, you know, like some people reporting with the health tracking being hit or miss. The lack of MST on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. That's gonna be a sore spot for a lot of people because MST has been a available on previous models, especially the Gear S3 Frontier. And there's a lot of people who love MST, but it's being removed from the devices on the smartphones, it's coming out of their smartwatches and so forth, but NFC is becoming the new standard. A couple more caveats was, there was a nice price hike when this Galaxy Watch 3 came out. Ah, I go back and forth when it comes to prices. I would like them to stay like ideal and a pretty decent price point. But hey, you know, and then there's also, you know, the lack of third party apps and so forth. So you gotta just come to the conclusion as to where you fall when it comes to smartwatches and what you're looking for. Over these last six, seven months, I have absolutely enjoyed and appreciated my Samsung Galaxy Watch. Like, I like these smartwatches. I like the look of them. I like the feel. I like the vibe. I like the functionality. Being able to take a phone call at my wrist, being able to reply to text messages at my wrist, being able to see all of my notifications at my wrist without the need to pull out my smartphone. That's the biggest thing that I find use of in smartwatches. It's limiting me from having to go here with it just to see a, a, a notification when I can just go here with it. And now I can see my YouTube notification is right there. Things like that. Those are the things that matter most to me when it comes to using a smartwatch. This thing has been absolutely phenomenal over the last six, seven months. It's still running the way it did in the beginning. So I just wanted to give you guys an update just to let you know how I'm appreciating this. Also check out those other videos. If you need to figure out what size you wanna pick, I have a video for that. If you want a video comparing all models, which I compared this watch to the Galaxy watch, which was the version before this, the Gear S3 Frontier. I've also done a video comparing it to the Apple watch because this does work on the Apple ecosystem. System. So you can hook this up to iOS, but I'll show you in that video as well when I compare this to the Apple Watch. It does come with some limitations as soon as you connect this to an iPhone, but I connect it in that video and I show you a lot of those limitations and explain it further. So my name is CJ, this is CJ Unplugged. Thanks for watching. This is your smartwatch guru. I got another video coming up on this thing uh, real soon. So more Galaxy Watch 3 content coming for all my smartwatch lovers out there. Peace. You can do it like Frida. Where do I begin? I see the hate, they don't wanna see me win. Bank deposits, I got more coming in. Top down, throw the money in the wind. I don't want it all. Oh, heard these scammer, I had to switch up the accounts. Moving paper, gotta call it my account. It's all in, I can't have it coming out. They through the struggle, I can see another drought. Yeah, it's not a purse, it's a